Oh my god, guys, look! It looks absolutely awesome! So you lot are, uh, you're all well aware. I know all of you aren't stupid. All of you guys, you, you're not stupid, okay? And the reason why you're not stupid is because you're all well aware of the messages that I put across in these videos. And one of the main messages that I've always, always told you guys, one of the main premises of what I do online is being unique, is being yourself is showing yourself and not being afraid to do that. And I think it's a quality that everybody should have and it's not an easy quality to have and if you don't have it, I think it's something you should definitely work on. Show your true colours to everybody and be unique and be you. And I think that is something that everybody should stand for. guys is what today's vlog is going to be about and uh, well it looks like my uh, my bed is actually well it's that organized that it goes in order of what I want to explain to you guys so today's vlog I've configured these radios this morning so just ignore them these are some wireless radios that are going to go out to some clients in a couple of days this is my jacket and my car keys because well we're going to be going out in today's vlog and doing a few things and uh, well this this is my Mavic Air, my brand new little drone, which I throw in my bag in this little box that it came in, and I get cool drone shots. And speaking of this Mavic Air, guys, well, I want to be unique with it. I want to make something out of this. I want to make this mine. Because you guys saw exactly what we did with the Inspire One with its custom paint job and I did that to the Inspire One drone myself. Imagine if we get the help of my girlfriend who is well kind of a pretty good artist and uh, will easily be able to go ham on this bad boy. So I'm gonna go around and let's customize this drone today. Guys happy day off or whatever you want to call today. Bank holiday. No one's working today but we're gonna be creative. Let's do this. <laughs> And we have arrived. I just need to find a, my girlfriend now. I have no idea where she is in this absolute castle of a house. Um, yeah. I think she's over here somewhere. Hello. Hi. You okay? Right, you ready to see what I want you to customize? Mm -hmm. It's in here. I don't know if you actually can do it or not. I'm gonna try and take it apart and then it's the white bit of that. So do you reckon you can make that look cool or not? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How though? Do you trust me? Well, I do trust you. I hope it's not going to break it. I've painted drones in the past and they've been fine. No, I I customised one of your drones and then you flew it into a tree in Australia. Well, yes, but we're, we're ignoring that. <laughs> okay, so what about this one? I'm not going to crash this one because it has obstacle avoidance. So can you make it look really cool or not? Yeah. Like yeah, that yeah. material, is that, can you work with that? Feel that? It's like, I might sand it down if it needs like more grip for the paint. I don't even know what you're going to do. Yeah, but once I do it, you won't be able to undo it. Yeah, we need to go to boot. Boots. Boots. What, like the place that does like medical stuff? Yeah. Why are we doing that? I can't tell you that. You can't tell me that? No. Are you actually being serious? Yeah. Right. Trust me. We're going to Boots, apparently. I'm not 100% sure why we need to go to Boots, but we do, apparently. That's what Maria said. So we'll go to Boots, buy whatever we need from Boots to customise this thing. And if, you don't, if you're not from the UK and you don't know what Boots is, it's kind of like a medical place that you can get like all sort of bathroom stuff from. Makeup. And makeup and loads of other stuff like that. So why are we going there? I've got no idea. Go into the bag. Bye bye Luna. Hello. Boots. We have arrived. Okay, so we're here looking at makeup. I still feel like I'm just getting tricked into buying my girlfriend loads of makeup because she just keeps picking out random ones and saying we need this, 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 and this. <laughs> These two. Or these two. See, I'm not very good with colour, so uh, I'm sort of just leaving all that to Maria. I've just told her I want it to look cool and not girly. Not girly. Oh, that's like a really dark green. 
and I think this is the selection right here. So we're going to get a few more colours than we actually need just in case the colours that we originally chose don't work and we have to use some sort of backup option. Again, this could be just my girlfriend covering up for the fact she wants to buy loads of makeup. Hopefully not, because I want a cool drone. I'll buy some makeup if you want as well. Mm. I am nice. Choose any one thing and you can have it for doing this for me. I'm having these after we're done. Yeah, you're having them after we're <laughs> yeah. done? You're still going to use them afterwards? Thank you. Sweet, and there we go. I'm not sure if my own girlfriend has duped me or not. But we have nail polish. And hopefully, and, and that toy. We went, to, we went to pick up a toy for, for the big dog, Luna. Let's see if this works. Or if I've been duped. I don't think I have that. I think this is going to work. I'm really excited. Okay guys, so this tool here that I'm using right here is called a, this thing here is called a spudger. Now you use this to get in between iPhone screens when you're repairing iPhone screens, which I used to do before that got really hard to do. I used to be able to replace an iPhone screen for anybody until about the iPhone 6 and then I stopped doing it. This is for that, but I'm also gonna use it to try and pry off this plastic bit on the top of the drone. Nine, four, and eight, four. And it's off. There we go. That's the inside of the Mavic Air, and that's the top in one piece, unbroken. Brilliant. Now, I don't know if you can see these pieces here. I might try and get these off too, but I don't know if there was no guide on how to take these off. But it looks like they should they should just pop off like this did. And yep, yep, they do. They just come straight off. Okay, guys. So the girlfriend has now joined me again. We have got our shades. This is the whole top of the Inspire. Inspire? Mavic Air. And then these two pieces here are the pieces that go on the front. It's just literally all just clipped on and super glued on. So if you just use a proper spudger, use the proper tools, pry it all off, everything comes off absolutely fine. That's the inside of a Mavic Air. And then these are the parts as to which we're going to colour. I really hope this works, because otherwise... My little Mavic Air will still be flyable, but look really, really stupid. So I really, really hope this works and looks really, really cool. But part one, the hardest part, all done. All taken apart. Okay, so you can't see our faces because I'm trying to focus in on what we're actually doing here. I don't really know yet. All I know is that I've taken the drone apart. Marie's put these here and she's filled this with lukewarm water. I've given her two screwdrivers because she asked for some mixing utensils. And we're going to test this out on this milk carton because it's kind of the same texture as this. So before I ruin my drone, we're going to do a test run. Are you ready? Nope. Yeah, let's do it. I'm really, really scared. Let's see if this works. So, we're going to put the nail varnish. Oh. oh, whoa. I did that wrong. No way. That's really weird. This is something that I need to get in slow motion. Guys, watch what happens to this when you put the nail varnish in here in slow-mo. <laughs> Okay, this looks slightly mental. Um, is this how it's meant to look? No, I'm practicing. No, not, you're just practicing? Yep. So this isn't the real thing. That's really cool though, how it does that. I don't know where this is going. We might have to do oh, several different sections of the drone. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> oh, what? How, what? I don't understand what's happening. Nah, that's weird. Guys, look, watch this, move it again. Look guys, the whole thing moves. I did, that's so weird. Okay, you are slowly earning my faith back in not ruining the drone. This looks like you actually know what you're doing. Okay, attempt number one on the milk carton. Is that what you do? You just put it in like that? No way. If, that, if this actually looks... Whoa! That's sick. Oh, that's gonna look so cool when that dries. Look! Okay, that was only the test. That was only a test. That's really cool. What even is this? Okay, so guys, it kind of worked on the milk carton. So we're giving it a go with the top. You can do it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I don't do it. You can do it. Use the little things I've made you to hold on to it and then just dip it in. Oh my God. That is sick. That is so, so cool. 
Right, put it down. Put it down, let it dry off. Oh, wow. Uh, Okay, here we go. It's all done, isn't it? Five hours later, five, six hours later. It's had some coats. What have you put over it? What have you coated it with? Uh, just some varnish. So, so it's not gonna hopefully break. Yeah? Hopefully. 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 This is it. The custom, the first ever custom DJI Mavic Air. Let's put this back together. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put these front little lobes on it first. Um, hopefully these just click back into place. There wasn't actually an eye fix it on how to take these off. So uh, hopefully these just click back on without any problems. I mean, yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that looks on, doesn't it? This is gonna look so cool, I can already tell. I'm actually really buzzing to see it all together now. This is looking so promising now. Front two pieces on. Oh wow, this is gonna look so cool. Are you ready? Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do it because it's just gonna look so amazing. Right, okay, it's going on, it's clipping on. There we go, look at that, we've sorted it. Put these on and then let's hope it takes off and flies and stays stable, because that's the next bit, isn't it? Mm. To see if it actually stays stable or not in the air. There we go, it's all screwed back on. That's so cool, that is actually mental. I love it, it goes around the front as well, like around there. I wasn't oh, that sure, is wicked. But now I am. I'm so sure about that. I love the sleekness of all the grey stealth around the back and then all of that on there. So then guys, here we are, take a close look at our masterpiece. It's all on, it's all working absolutely fine. I use the I tear down link, which if you guys wanna do this, I'll put that in the description, the link that tells you how to tear this thing apart and put it back together. It was just simply two screws underneath, you pop it all off, literally that, use a spudger to make things easier, and there we go. Close up, you guys can see. It's kinda shiny, because we put a varnish finish over it so that if it gets any scrapes or anything, it's not gonna bring off the nice finish. But the fact is, I like it because it's unique, isn't it? You can't get, like even if you did the same thing, you'd never get the same sort of pattern as that, which is absolutely awesome. No, I'm gonna get comments about, oh my God, it looks so girly. Alex, it looks so pink. Why, why have you done pink and purple and stuff like that? Well, I need to answer this question because I just, I know I'm gonna get it, right? So I originally was gonna go with like a bluey gray type thing. I thought that would look really stealthy and really cool, but I had like a little, a moment of realization, mm -hmm. an epiphany. Yeah. Is that the right word? No, but we, well, yeah. What's an epiphany? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, if I do the drone blue, a drone's meant to sort of fly in the in the sky. This thing's hard to see at the best of times when it's up there, because it's so small. And then if I did it blue, it's going to be even harder to see. So I wanted to make this thing look cool, but then also it have some sort of practical aspect to it as to where it's going to make it easier to see from in the air, which is why I really wanted to do these bits here, because you can actually see the white when it's flying. So now it's actually pink and red and gray and loads of different random colors. It should make this thing so much easier to see in the air, hopefully, fingers crossed. And that was a big, a big choice behind the color scheme of this drone. But there you go, guys. I wanted to do them, but the antenna's behind there, so I didn't want to impact the range, because I don't think the range is very good on this drone as it is. But there you go. That is the first ever customized in the entire world DJI Mavic Air. Seen here first on Mars Bar Vlogs. Customized in one day by my girlfriend and I using nail polish and loads of other stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want to do, if you want to do this yourself, to anything, then I'll put that link to the video you were watching earlier, that minute one, yeah. that shows you how to do it in the description. Super, super easy, really, really cool. Just took a while to dry, but there you go, all finished. God, guys, can you guys see all of this flooding here that's outside my house? The, the scene at Maria's probably looked really dark because it was chucking it down. It literally just stopped chucking it down and now the sun has just come out. April showers here in England causing these massive floods where I live. Look at all of that. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in tomorrow's daily vlog. Guys, I'm